Okay, welcome everyone to this week's Elite Blunarius Guide or Strategy, whatever you guys want to call it. So this week is special for two reasons. First one is that this is likely going to be the last Blunarius uh, that we're going to see in a while because I expect the new update to come out next week. So that's reason number one. But reason number two is that for the first time ever, we cannot use the VTSG or the True Sun God for that matter. So the Super Monkey has a cross path limit, which is to 455. Five, five. So that means that we can only buy up to a temple. So that means that we need to adjust our late game strategy. We're going to be relying on both of the Paragons plus a lot, a lot of different other towers that it's going to be a mess. It's going to be an absolute mess in the late game. But, you know, so I guess rip to, you know, these kind of slower devices because things really do get messy in the late game like you you just keep placing towers and then these towers are you know getting overclocked and stuff like that and there's projectiles all over the place so i really hope they do something for that but you know in the meantime let's just focus on this one let's talk about this elite boonary so something else that you guys might have noticed besides you know not having the vtsg is that we have one life so we need to play it a little bit safer especially for the people that don't have that much monkey knowledge so the thing that i'm doing is of course we can select our hero so i'm getting ben i got the dark monkey and then uh, i got this farm to 100 and then upgraded the dart to 020 so that uh, you know we can amp up the damage a little bit and then got the farm back to 200 so this dark monkey is going to get upgraded and by the way i need to emphasize this a lot because these farms need to be placed very precisely so you need to be very careful with the positioning of these farms there's only so much space so that you can fit two farms and it's it's kind of like exact positioning that you have to it's almost exact it's easy to you know it's easy to place them it's easy to mess it up also so just be careful with the farm position you want to have two in each row so there we go i got the 000 farm that's, that was the second one and then went back to upgrade the dark monkey to 023 because we need the dps and now we're just straight up into into buying some more farms so this dark monkey is going to be able to survive on its own for a little while and that is going to going to be an opportunity for us to farm so we're getting three farms we currently have three two zero zero farms this is going to be farm number four and after we get this fourth farm up to uh, two zero zero we are going to get this guy a little bit of a helping hand so we're going to be doing druid farming and i didn't get that many druids but i have to emphasize again this this is the same thing with the positioning guys with the farms you need to be very careful with how you position these druids so you i, I guess i got six druids you can get a lot more i think you can you can get eight no no problem but you know i didn't do an overkill so I just did six druids but you have to be very careful with how you position them so you want them to be you know touching the edge of the track and then the edge of the farm so that you can get as many of them as possible in the same row and you can have you know uh, one uh, above each other right so this is farm number six that i just bought uh, going for farm number seven uh, so we are going to be having seven two zero zero farms on the field and i'm just playing placing a banana farmer too to not have to worry about these things so the way that i uh, take care of these lead balloons uh, this has kind of become my favorite since we're druid farming is that i'm using the druid of the jungle so the zero three one upgrade i'm just getting it to zero three one and that thing pops lead balloons so that's how we deal with them and it's later you know going to be used i love these things where well, you know you just buy something and then it's going, going to be used in some sort of capacity later on and you're gonna see that a lot throughout this run and i'm gonna be mentioning it uh but anyways there we go we upgraded the first jungle's bounty and because the positioning was good so that means that we have just enough space to place the second one below it and this is what you this is what you guys should be aiming for so i got the tech bots as usual you know to help out and i would actually encourage you guys to get tech bots as well for this one uh, i usually you know tell you guys and it, it, it's as usual you can you can click the abilities yourself right it makes it it's not difficult to click the abilities yourself but it makes it a little bit obnoxious and these tech bots are a quality of life improvement if anything else but uh, what's different for this run is because we don't have the vtsg that means that later on we are going to be having a lot of overclocks and a lot of abilities <laughs> that we're going to be clicking so it's going to be a huge mess so uh, these tech bots are actually going to prove very useful as time moves on so what i'm doing here is i'm just buying 041 um druids i got a total of four druids and now i'm clearing out this haystack on the right side and you know getting into the usual stuff so a very important thing about the tier one blue areas is that uh we're gonna be getting first off we're gonna be getting, be getting two two four zero textures so it's not gonna be zero four zero it's gonna be two four zero and that's very important because we're gonna need the actual dps from them so that's number one so there we go that's two 
two four zero attack shooters, and then uh, we're you know getting the three two zero uh, three two zero alchemist to buff them up, and that is gonna be about it. Getting the ninja, a one oh four ninja, and that's it. So I'm gonna do a couple of things. First off, is this village. Uh, People usually lose in the 40s because we don't have that much camo detection. So I'm getting this village up to 420. And uh, 420 is very important actually for this one because uh, this Blunaris is going to be taken down very fast. So you actually need the 10% uh, need cooldown reduction that, that we get from the primary mentoring on these on these tax shooters. So that's very important. And also don't forget to keep farming. So we have two free abilities basically when these guys are, when the ceramic process are next to us. But then the other ones you have to be careful about so slow down you know slow down the game don't play on on fast forward uh, there's this tunnel which the balloons go through so they make a full circle and on their way back you know you can't see a lot of uh, of the track because Blunaris is there so you you kind of you can miss the timing very easily so just be careful with it after they enter the tunnel wait like a second and then you click the ability and that's how you do it so I got six druids in total, six zero four ones, and now what I'm doing is a zero uh, zero two four spike factory, uh, which has a village next to it. And this is uh, the spike factory is by the way set on far so that it targets the uh, you know this little last part of the track that you guys can see. And now I am selling. I sold. What did I sell? I had the dark monkey there, and I just placed two more two zero zero farms. So now that the farms are in almost full effect. We have nine farms in total. We're gonna have. Uh, 10 later on but for now we're just doing with these nine and now i'm doing the usual stuff so upgrading these guys to 420 now something unconventional that's gonna but that we don't do usually uh that is is that we are going to be using the math for tier two which is we do that one regularly but what we don't do is we don't use the perma spike and the super maelstrom so that's what we're going to be doing on tier two so that is uh kind of an interesting one uh, there's a lot of synergy to it and you know a few reasons why I'm doing it so we have this cooldown reduction village which is going to help out a lot we have these spikes which I'm placing with a very particular re reason and that is because uh, we want to be safe with this right so we have one life and we don't want to mess it up because we can very easily lose on this so that is why this spike factory is going to come in clutch later on but for now uh, well not clutch it's not going to be close but it's nice to have it right so for now getting five four two zero farms if you guys are behind on this as usual you it's totally fine we're gonna have like two million later on so i'm over farming i'm way over farming so you're totally fine on that on that front right so getting uh the zero oh, so, sorry the two five zero super maelstrom and then getting the perma spike the perma spike is on far and it's targeting the last part of the track and now we're just going uh, for the mad as usual so this thing is going to evaporate as as you guys would expect and it's a very interesting way of cleaning up right the idea is very similar to what we did for tier one balloon areas but instead of the ninja which i'm gonna sell in a second so i'm gonna sell the ninja we don't need it anymore uh and we're clearing it up with the uh with the uh, with the super maelstrom ability but you don't have to be you know that precise so for the tier one balloon areas and these ceramic crushes you have to be precise with the abilities uh the thing with the super maelstrom ability is that this thing affects the whole screen for a long time so you don't have to care about when you use it actually uh, we also have the uh, mad ability which can clear out an entire skull by itself and we also have the perma spike at the end as a safety net so don't worry about you know the ability timings you mess it up don't worry about it it's completely safe uh, the perma spike makes sure of it and of course uh, these abilities are fast abilities which uh, which do a lot of damage so that is about it for tier 2 blunarius a very simple one we're microing the the mat following the blunarius along the lines of the track and that is going to be about it for tier 2 blunarius so a little bit different than what we usually do right so right now now that we've cleared out tier 2 blunarius uh, we are going to do a couple of things. We're going to sell uh, the mat, we're going to sell the super maelstrom and the alchemist, and we're going to upgrade the village to 520. So this is going to be the uh, the thing that's going to uh, that's going to defend for us for a while, which is not the conventional tower, and of course the perma spike at the back. And now I've got one more farm to 420, and now I'm doing the usual stuff. So the left village is 04004, the right village is 104. I got the overclock, overclock the village, and as usual, you know, we're getting the monkeyopolis. So, uh, if you position this, uh, these, these farms correctly, you would be able to get like two more. But I, you know, uh, my positioning was a little bit off, so I had to, I had to uh, place one farm in the in the right circle. But it is what it is. So, overclocking this five two zero farm as usual, you know, we usually do this, and then we are getting the zero zero two five. 
a banana farm and it's a very important thing that we get you know these, these guys under the range of the monkey city so this is how we're defending very unconventional but it works it's totally fine and, and as you guys can see we're gaining some lives now that we bought the monkey wall street so lives can be earned uh, even though we're starting with one life it's not limited to one life we can get more lives we can gain lives but uh, you know you just need the right towers for it so i'm getting three four to zero farms i'm gonna get two more or three more actually three more so this is number four so four four to zero farms currently on the field uh, this is gonna be number five and then i'm gonna get one more later on now the positioning of the village is very important as is the positioning of the engineer because we're gonna be getting a temple but this temple is is going to be a a support well it's not going to be a only support temple uh, we're going to use it to pop the tier 3 balloon areas but uh, you know it's its main role later on is going to be more of a support role rather than dps so we're doing the sacrifices i got a spike factory to just get over that limit for the uh, support towers uh, i'm getting the 500 and a 400 tag shooter and then what am i getting from the magic ones i think i'm gonna get a druid so i'm gonna get a druid so yeah it's a 005 druid and then a 400 alchemist and there we go uh, we are getting the sun avatar into the sun temple and after that upgrading the range and now that we've that we've uh, we've upgraded the sun temple now we have this space to use uh to, to the right side of it right to get one more farm i'm just getting a few banana farmers so they clean up for us and you know the usual is 501 501 perma brew alchemist into a 250 uh village into a 502 sniper on strong and that is basically all we need to take care of this guy and i'm also going to get the ultra boost now the ultra boost is a very important tower in this in this specific blue areas run uh, because you're gonna want to uh, ultra boost as many towers as possible to the max so we're gonna overclock them as well but you want the ultra boost bonuses as well so i'm just getting the ultra boost going on the temple for now right so now we're getting ready for the paragons which are going to be our main dps source um, getting ready for the dark paragon so the dark paragon is going to be above the temple so that's why we kind of had the super monkey a little bit lower than usual so we got it there uh, we got the uh, 050 uh, super sorry not the super monkey but the dark monkey above the temple and i'm just spamming you know all of these uh, crossbow masters the uh, so both crossbow masters the uh, ultra juggernaut and then just spamming 042 042 darts i also bought the fifth tier boomerangs and an important thing to do that's something that you guys should do as well because you want them to start collecting pops later on so that you get a higher degree in the paragon so i just bought all of the fifth tier boomerangs as well and the boomerang paragon is going to go on the right side on the on the right circle actually you can see where my moab domination is so that's where the uh, that's where the boomerang paragon is going to go right so 042 darts just spamming these guys spamming along um you know you, you want them to start getting some pops you want them to um basically basically you know get you a a higher degree of paragon a degree of paragon that is over 40 is acceptable to me that's my goal i want to get the dark paragon at least over 40 and then the boomerang i got it at about 40 i think as well so that's totally fine we're gonna have a lot of dps from other towers but you know you just you're just aiming for a higher one and um and the second crossbow master uh, monkey knowledge is very important as well so let me just talk about what's happening on screen i'm going to switch out the ultra boost as i mentioned to the ace so this is going to be a 205 ace under a 240 village and i am switching the ultra boost and one of those tech bots that we bought for the druids earlier on and i'm, I'm switching it to the ace so we want to get this ace overclocked 10 times and then we're going to switch it again to another tower but you know doing them one by one right so spamming a little bit more dark monkeys i might have reached the limit at this point but it doesn't matter and now i'm getting the apex plasma master which came out to be degree 41 that's totally fine uh i'm fine with everything that's above 40 although you know the higher you go the better so i got the 501 super brittle we need the damage amplifiers we need the super glue and this you know up until this point it's kind of standard stuff i mean we would have had the vtsg right but even if we don't we have the paragon and we're doing fine on dps so i'm spamming 240 uh boomerangs because obviously we're getting ready for the boomerang paragon now uh, i'm moving the super brittle so that is something that you guys should not forget to do always make sure to move the super brittle because every little bit of dps is very important in this one uh you know the vtsg in our previous games when we have it available to us it it does like 25 million of the dps right uh, to the to tier 5 lunarius and now we just have to find alternative sources and that means fully utilizing all the towers that we that we can right so again as i mentioned you know earlier don't worry if you're behind the farming because look at the money we have we've got the paragons we've got the temple 
we've got all of the farms on the field and we have like 1.2 million dollars so don't worry about the money it's gonna be fine just focus on the defenses and focus on the on the things that actually matter so 240 boomerangs i'm keeping the spam going i accidentally upgraded the few to 420 it is what it is and getting ready for the last one getting ready for uh, the tier 5 and the tier 5 is going to be an absolute mess it's going to be a i don't want to say it but you know it's going to be a huge mess so there we go uh degree 40 that's amazing i'm fine with degree 40 because uh you know these these zeros they they they, they scale better they, there's a there's a higher jump uh, okay i can't explain it. i'm just gonna throw out the graph and i'm just gonna talk about what's gonna be happening next so i'm just selling out the farms and uh you know keeping the promise spike at the back moving the super bill which i'm gonna actually forget to do for a while on the last year boon areas and now i'm going to get the special pop well the special pop operations is not that necessary to this thing but you want to have the super chinning so that we can move the perma boom and that's a very important thing i'm getting more dps towers so the sky shredder i had the apache prime and i also have the 205 the 205 uh, heli and then uh, I just moved the perma brew so that it can it can give the buff to everyone else. So I'm buying these engineers. These are going to be overclock engineers, and those tech bots that we bought at the start, this is where they shine. So we hooked them up to a few towers. I got them mad, and uh, I'm just going to hook all of these engineers to to a to an overclock, and the overclock is going to keep buffing these towers. So I forgot to buy two towers. By the way, I'm just gonna spam everything that, that I can. We have 1.4 million at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna be buying, I got the Ray of Doom. I'm gonna get the Archmage, you know, everything that you guys, Wizard Lord Phoenix, there you go. Everything that you guys, you know, wanna buy, you can buy it. We have an, an almost infinite amount of money, which, you know, it doesn't matter, I got the Bloons generation now, but I forgot to buy two very important towers. And that's the anti Bloon and the Legend of the Night. So those guys do a lot of DPS and you guys should get them. But this is the point where this is, you know, an absolute, uh, well, I don't want to say the word because I'm going to get demonetized, but uh, yeah, I just call it a huge mess. So buying basically everything that does DPS, clicking the abilities. I mean, look at this. We have two rows of abilities, right? It's whatever you can. Something's hooked up to the tech bots. If you guys want to, you can buy more tech bots so that everything gets automated. If not, one by one. And you know this is just a huge mess. It's going very slowly. It's well, it's not very slowly, but it's slower than what we're used to. And this is actually the point where I forget to move my super builder, so we miss out on a decent chunk of DPS. But that's totally fine. Using the abilities, using everything accordingly. You know these overclocks and the ultra boosts, they are all hooked up to a tower. And here is where I actually move my super builder for the first time, I think. And this is where the damage is going to pick up. There you go. This is how you do it. It is an absolute mess. It is, you know, a lot of phones and a lot of PCs might suffer from this because this is actually, this is actually a lot of projectiles, a lot of a lot of stuff happening on screen. So, and I'm not, I'm not sure if there is a way to, to you know to to not have it this messy because we need maybe you maybe we can restrict some towers but maybe you don't buy everything. But then again. The DPS is, is just so lacking with other VTSG that you're trying to get everything that you can on screen, right? You're, you're trying to get as much DPS as possible, and this is how you do it. You just click the buttons, and there we go. I even clicked the special pop operations, which the hell is like in the top right corner. It's not doing anything, but I'm just clicking. And that's it. That's how you do it. So a very fun one, a very interesting one, a very different one from the from what we usually see. Again, one more, uh, one more time, moving the super brittle and that is that's going to be going to be it for this week's elite boomeris and possibly the last boomeris for a while so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope it helps you guys i think it's going to help you guys a lot uh, even though it's a huge mess uh, just I, I i suggest you guys attempt this you know play it on normal speed or something like that and it's going to take a while but it's going to be fine so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one